All right, we're taking a look at Oak Hill here in Nashville, Tennessee. It is October 2024, and we are taking a look at what happened the last 30 days in the month of September. We saw five homes go under contract. Sorry, we saw five homes close, and we saw seven go under contract. We're going to go through the sold listings that happened. This one over on Outer for 2.94. New construction, just finished up. Um, beautiful home on a half acre, should be a half acre lot over in that part of Oak Hill, 0.46. Um, stunning home. It's got room for a pool, great big open kitchen, 5,800 square feet. That's what you're going to pay for a half acre new construction home in Oak Hill for sure. One uh, right down the street from that one at 4,100 outer for just over a million bucks, a million one thousand Probably had multiple offers. They probably like fielded offers for the first week. Someone bid a million. Someone said, I'll give you a thousand dollars more. That's how you kind of wind up at that price is what I would guess. It's probably a teardown lot for the most part at a million bucks, you know, over half an acre. That's what we're seeing people and builders pay. Builder might not pay that much, but someone wanting to do a custom and be an oak hill certainly will. This one at 385 is over on Battleboro. It's an attached unit. It's only 1,100 square feet. It's not typically what we see in Oak Hill. This one on Villacrest, 1445. Villacrest is an interesting street. You're up there high. You have long range views. That's got that curved glass out the back. Really an interesting one. This is obviously a, a dated home, but looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't think you'd tear this down at 1.4, you know, over 1.4. Um, it's just tricky on that, on that, that lot is going to be in the Radnor overlay as well as the steep slope overlay. So it's going to be an extreme challenge to redevelop that one, but it's 2,500 square feet. You're in a great school district there for Percy Priest for the elementary school. So it's a really good spot. And for a family to get in for something turnkey at one five, that makes a lot of sense. Last one's on Franklin Pike. This one has been on the market for a long time. It's a beautiful 4,000 square foot home. It's a ranch that's been redone, but you have high tension power lines going down the side of it. Now, is it a safety concern? I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but a lot of people do not want to live next to power lines. So that's why this home sat for so long. It's just a challenge with this, those going. There's a couple dozen homes in Oak Hill and Forest Hills that are right next to it um, that are always just a little bit more of a challenge because some people will not live next to high tension power lines like that. There are right at 40 homes on the market in Oak Hill, again, with seven going under contract, seven, eight months worth of inventory. Um, so that's what we're currently seeing. We've also seen a couple big ones go under contract, including that one over on Granny White that's been redone. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous home on an A plus lot. Um, and for eight and a half million dollars, it better be. So that's what's going on in Oak Hill. I hope that's helpful for you. There should have been links in the email or somewhere where you can get all this MLS direct information. Um, click through all these things, get all the details you want. If you're thinking about putting your house on the market in Oak Hill, I'd love to talk to you about it. I'll give you an idea of what I think it would go for in today's market. Any improvements that I would recommend you do before you list it in kind of a time frame on how long I think it'll take to sell your home in Oak Hill. So feel free to reach out to me. I'm Jason Green with Cole Banker. Thank you so much for checking out the video this month.